Hi, I want to tell you a little bit about my presentation, Hello Deep Learning. Since uh, earlier, uh, late last year, ChatGPT burst on the scene and suddenly AI could no longer be ignored. But me and many others have actually been ignoring it for too long because the deep learning stuff was too much Tesla, too much hype, too much fake self-driving car. And in hindsight, we were not wrong. Many of the self-driving car demos were actually fake, and many of the AI triumphs were not as good as you might think they were. But still, as of last uh, November or something like that, the advent of ChatGPT made it impossible to ignore AI any longer. And I noticed, yeah, I have to do catch up. I have to learn more uh, and figure out what is going on here because I can no longer go on ignoring this and no one in technology can go on ignoring this. But if you are as late to the game as I was and you try to step in, you get lost in a maze of YouTube videos which all explain to you the many ways in which you can use Python libraries to recognize pictures of cats. Uh, but none of these libraries really tell you what is going on. And if you want to find out how deep learning really works, uh, you quickly get lost in references to math uh, books and matrix multiplications. But it's not that easy to gain an understanding of deep learning if you start with deep mathematics. And in this void, I have jumped with the project uh, Hello Deep Learning. I did an earlier project like that called Hello DNS from my past as uh, the founder of PowerDNS. But I wanted to make sure that people could learn DNS from the ground up without having to read 3000 pages. And in this vein, I also started Hello Deep Learning. And in this project, we write a program that can uh, read handwritten letters from a photo and turn them into a, well, and understand them and read them. And this, of course, has been done before. But the cool thing about this project is that it's like a 2000 line, line piece of code uh, software. And 2000 lines is enough that you can read it from beginning to end and really know what is going on. Uh, in the presentation, I cover the basic techniques of deep learning, which do involve the matrix multiplications, of course, but also show how surprisingly simple techniques enable us to recognize digits, for example. And, uh, and these techniques do uh, unexpectedly well. And that is a big theme of machine learning. Even very simple techniques can deliver quite impressive results. And I think that's a key goal of the presentation, showing you what even simple algorithms can do. And that helps you believe how that these very large achievements like ChatGPT, for example, are actually real and based on software and not magic. Um, in the course of the presentation, we develop a digit recognizing system and in there explain uh, modern methods like gradient descent, um, and uh, data augmentation and, um, and batch processing to uh, really illustrate what is going on. We end the presentation with a discussion on what does it all mean. So quite quickly it is possible to have a machine learning library that recognizes cats rather well, but you will later find that it only recognizes your cats and not other people's cats. And that is of course not really a problem for a demo, but it does become a problem if you build a machine learning library that is used to spot fraudulent transactions, for example, and, and maybe it only learns to spot your fraudulent uh, transactions and not anyone else's, which would be bad for you personally. So running it off the presentation, Hello Deep Learning explains the basic techniques, but also some of the pitfalls that are rarely covered in happy videos of people scripting up Python libraries that recognize their pets. And I hope that if you view the whole presentation, you'll end up being wise in the world of machine learning and excited to learn more. Thank you.